Good evening, viewers. You're tuned in to ICRT. I, Keeping you informed. ICRT! Taiwan stands out as the only Asian nation rated as open in terms of civic space according to the People Power Under Attack 2023 report by the human rights NGO Civicus. This distinction held for five consecutive years evaluates freedom of speech, press and assembly. A Civicus researcher highlighted Taiwan's role as a refuge for journalists and dissidents facing oppression in nearby countries. Taiwan is praised for its free media environment, tolerance of public protests and open dialogue with civil society groups. However, areas like the right to strike and defamation laws offer room for improvement. In contrast, other Asian nations such as Japan, South Korea and Mongolia were rated narrowed while nations like Brunei, Cambodia, India and Thailand remain repressed. The report indicates a concerning global trend with 30% of the world's population living in closed countries, the highest figure since 2018, emphasizing the need for immediate action to safeguard global civic space. Human Rights Non-Governmental Organization Freedom of Press Assembly Tolerance Protests The Ali Shan National Forest Recreation Area is currently showcasing a magnificent display as 90% of the ginkgo leaves at Siyun Temple have turned a vivid yellow. The century-old trees planted in 1919 offer an ideal backdrop for visitors, with their golden foliage against the temple's red tiles and white clouds. The area's picturesque scenery is further enhanced by the bell tower and green maple trees, although the latter are still predominantly green due to the warm weather. With visitors to the Ogasawara viewing platform can also enjoy the red hues of Taiwan's red maple trees. The Forestry and Nature Conservation Agency reminds visitors of the cold, thin mountain air during winter and advises those with heart conditions to be cautious. Ginkgo Tree Forest Recreation Area Picturesque Scenery Maple Tree Heart conditions. A global 5G alliance has signed an MOU with Taiwan's Information and Standards Association. The signing of the agreement comes as the Alliance for Connected Industries and Automation is holding its four-day annual general meeting in Taipei. The alliance is the world's largest group of companies and organizations working towards the integration of 5G in industrial applications. This year's meeting is being held in Taiwan for the first time. The assembly is co-hosted by the Taiwan Association of Information and Communication Standards and the Industrial Technology Research Institute. More than 100 domestic and foreign manufacturing and communications equipment companies are attending the event and showcasing state-of-the-art 5G applications. Deal. Alliance. Memorandum of Understanding Industrial Applications State of the Earth Iran says it has sent a capsule into orbit capable of carrying animals as it prepares for human missions in coming years. A report by the official IRNA news agency quoted the country's telecommunications minister as saying that the capsule was launched 130 kilometers into orbit. The minister says the launch of the 500-kilogram capsule is aimed at sending Iranian astronauts to space in coming years. He did not say if any animals were in the capsule. Iran occasionally announces successful launches of satellites and other spacecraft. In September, Iran said it sent a data-collecting satellite into space. In 2013, Iran said it sent a monkey into space and returned it successfully. Capsule Orbit Launch Satellite
Chinese authorities are said to be investigating the rock band May Day over accusations that it had lip-synced during a concert which took place in Shanghai. A Chinese social media user claimed he'd examined fan recordings taken from May Day's November 16 concert and determined that five of 12 songs had been lip-synced. The accusations were shared online and went viral. They were then picked up and reported by the BBC. The band's frontman, Ashin, issued his report rebuttal to the allegations in a separate social media post, saying real singing was the only way to connect to May Day fans. Lip syncing is prohibited before paying audiences in China because it is described as deceptive. But the BBC also noted that the prohibition is rarely enforced and continues to be practiced by Chinese performers. Accused. Lip syncing. Went viral. Rebuttal. Allegations. Deceptive. A Tainan woman had had hundreds of kidney stones removed, which medical professionals blamed on her aversion to drinking water. Chi Mei Hospital says a 20-year-old woman drank only bubble tea to hydrate, as she didn't like water. After experiencing a sudden fever and pain in her right wrist, she was found to have severe swelling in her kidney. She underwent emergency surgery to remove over 300 kidney stones, each ranging in size from half a centimeter to two centimeters. She's now in stable condition, but the hospital urologist points out that a lack of proper hydration is one of the main causes of kidney stones, which can be painful. Kidney stones blamed on bubble tea, hydrate, surgery. Central Election Commission has drawn the ballot numbers for the candidates in January's presidential election. Taiwan People's Party candidate Ke Wenjie and his running mate Cynthia Wu have drawn number one. The DPP's Lai Ching-de and his running mate Xiao Bi Kim have drawn number two. While the KMT's Hou Youyi and his running mate Zhao Xiao Kang have drawn number three. Ke Wenjie and Xiao Bi Kim attended the draw in person. While the KMT was represented at the Central Election Commission by Hou Youyi's campaign office spokesman Li Li Jun. Ballot. Candidate. Running mate. In person. Line today. That's part of the communications app. Line announces that the top two trending news topics for this year are Me Too harassment incidents and the passing of legendary singer Coco Lee. They are followed by news of multiple viruses circulating around, highlighting the public's sensitivity to infectious diseases post-pandemic. The fourth to tenth news items for 2023 were mostly social events, including the case of a high school student inheriting 500 million NT, but then fell to his death from a high-rise building, along with scams involving working abroad. The devastating fire at the Pingdong factory and an incident involving a construction crane hitting the Taiwan high-speed rail in Taichung are also in the top ten news. Line Today also finds that Taiwanese people are highly concerned about international affairs, such as diplomatic visits, interactions between the U.S., China, and Taiwan, or discussions about war. They are willing to express personal opinions about those matters as well. Incidents drew most attention: harassment, infectious diseases, post-pandemic, scams involving working. Highly concerned. The Ministry of Culture is planning a large-scale outdoor Taiwanese opera show entitled "Sixteen Twenty Four," which is scheduled to debut in the ancient capital of Tainan on February twenty-four and twenty-five of next year. The show is described as an unprecedented collaboration by the top Taiwanese opera groups in the country, showcasing the local art form at the international standard. Sixteen Twenty Four interprets the strategic role played by Taiwan four hundred years ago. And recreates a turbulent era through the perspectives of the indigenous Siraya people, the Han Chinese, Dutch, and Japanese. The creative minds between or behind the retelling of Taiwan's story at the 400th anniversary of Tainan is expected to provide different perspectives on the country's history. There is a hope that people will come together to watch the epic opera and restore their pride as part of the country. Besides performing live in Tainan on February 24 and 25, 1624 will also be broadcast on the PTS's 
Taigi TV station, and on social media platforms. Taiwanese opera. Unprecedented. Recreating. Turbulent era. Indigenous. Broadcast. Taiwan and Japan have signed a memorandum of understanding on customs cooperation, marking a significant step in enhancing bilateral economic relations. The MOU, focusing on customs issues between the port of Geelong in Taiwan and Yokohama in Japan, was signed at the 47th annual Taiwan-Japan Economic and Trade Conference in Taipei. Su Jiachuan of the Taiwan-Japan Relations Association and Mitsuo Ohashi of the Japan-Taiwan Exchange Association represented their rep- respective governments in the absence of official diplomatic relations. The agreement aims to streamline customs processes and combat trafficking and smuggling. Chen Shifan, head of Jilan Customs, highlighted the MOU's role in facilitating smoother customs cooperation. The conference serves as a vital platform for economic and trade communication between Tokyo and Taipei. Customs Cooperation Bilateral Economic Trafficking Smuggling Looking for the hottest music and exciting updates? Follow XRT on YouTube and all social media!